let's say I have the number 905, 905 point zero seven four. So how could I expand this out? What does this actually represent? So let's just think about each of the place values here. The nine right over here, this is in the hundreds place. This literally represents nine hundreds. So we could rewrite that nine as nine hundreds, or let me write it two ways. We could write it as 900, which is the same thing as nine times 100. Now this is zero, that's just going to represent zero tens, but zero tens is still just zero, so we don't have to really worry about that. It's not adding any value to our expression or to our number. Now we have this five. This five is in the ones place. It literally represents five ones, or you could just say it represents five. Now if we wanted to write it as five ones, we could say, well, that's gonna be five times one. So, so far we've represented 905. 900 plus five, or nine times 100, plus five times one. And you might say, hey, how do I know whether I should multiply or add first? Should I do this addition before I do this multiplication? And I'll always remind you, order of operations, in this scenario, you would do your multiplication before you do your addition. So you would multiply your five times one and your nine times 100 before adding these two things together. But let's move on. You have another zero. This zero is in the tenths place. This is telling us the number of tenths we're going to have. This is zero tenths, so it's really not adding much. Now we, or it's not adding anything. Now we go to the, now we go to the hundredths place. The hundredths place. So this literally represents seven hundredths. So we could write this as seven hundredths, or seven times one hundredth. So plus seven times one hundredth. And then finally, we go to the thousandths place. So we go to the thousandths place, and we have four thousandths. So that literally represents four over a thousand, or four times a thousandth. Four times a thousandth. Notice, this is coming from the hundredths place. This is coming from the hundredths place. You have zero tens, but I'll write the tens place there just so you see it. So it's zero tens, so I didn't even bother to write that down. Then you have your ones place, you have five ones. Then you have zero tenths, so I didn't write that down. Then you have seven hundredths, seven hundredths. And then you have four thousandths, four thousandths. So, and we are done. We've written this out, really just understanding what this number represents.